Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Climate change is a risk to the stability of the global financial system. This bill presents a market-based solution to understand the impact of a climbing climate, changing climate on companies and provide investors, lenders, and insurers with better information. I am proud to lead this with Representative Cartwright from Pennsylvania. The Climate Risk Disclosure Act of 2019 would require public companies to disclose more information about their exposure to climate-related risks, which will help investors appropriately assess those risks, accelerate the transition from fossil fuels to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, and reduce the chances of both environmental and financial capacity. We must act now to address climate change. We are running out of time. To even get to the goal of a one and a half degree temperature rise, it would require, and I quote from the International Panel on Climate Change, rapid and far-reaching transitions in energy, land, urban, and infrastructure systems, including transport and buildings and industrial systems. 50% of all the carbon dioxide we have ever emitted as a species has been released since 1980. The U.S. energy infrastructure invests $340 billion a year in our energy infrastructure. That is a half a tarp per year, mostly in the private sector. And yet we do not quantify the risks associated with that investment. That means that investors do not target the appropriate return because you cannot decouple risks and return. In just the past few decades, rising temperatures have worsened extreme weather events, wildfire seasons are longer. In Illinois, the painting season, outdoor painting season, has been shortened from seven months to six months. Mosquitoes are expanding their territory, spreading tropical diseases. Two feet of sea level rise is already baked in. When I asked on the Science and Space Committee what cities we should be most concerned about, the answer was the entire eastern seaboard. What does that mean? if you are a property manager investing in assets in Miami Beach? What does that mean if you are a seed developer who has seeds that are not going to be able to germinate at the rising temperatures in my home state of Illinois? If you are an investor, you would like to know the answers to those questions. And yet we don't provide a clear way to do that. Now, thinking through this type of risk will better equip companies to start building more sophisticated models to properly project the full gamut of financial risks and opportunities and eventually in integrate those models into their own decision-making processes. But much more importantly, it helps investors. You can't decouple risk from return. And if investors lack a clear understanding of risks, our economy is going to misallocate capital. We're going to put too much money in risky things, and given finite amounts of capital, we're going to put too little money in things that might mitigate that. Many companies, to be fair, already make these disclosures, but much more needs to be done. According to a 2017 KPMG study, half of the world's largest companies are acknowledging climate change as a financial risk. Global Reporting Institute, a group that provides a comprehensive framework for companies of any size to report on their environmental economic economic, environmental, and social impacts, estimated that over 90% of the world's largest companies are already reporting on their sustainability impacts, and smaller companies are following suit. But there is much more that can be done, both in terms of the uptake of reporting and the standardization of the, of the reporting and the quality of the reporting. And that's why the Climate Risk Disclosure Act is so important. Steve Waygood from Aviva Investors, uh, which encourages their company to examine their climate risk, said, quote, there is a role for governments and regulators. More needs to be done to extend the valuable work of the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures has accomplished. I am skeptical, his quote, that voluntary disclosures will get us far enough, fast enough. Research shows it is only when governments mandate disclosure that it becomes widespread, consistent, and comparable. The science of climate change and our contributions to it have been understood since Fonte Arrhenius's paper in 1896. Not 1996, 1896. The risks posed to a business facing more wildfires, rising sea levels, extreme weather events can be understood by a third grader. And yet this body has for far too long ignored the risk, taking childish pleasure in bringing snowballs onto the floor of Congress rather than actually take responsibility. It is time for us to act like adults. I urge support of the Climate Risk Disclosure Act, and I yield back the balance of my time.